Hello everybody, my name is Francesca Fusco and I will explain how to deploy a Hadoop MapReduce application um, on Amazon Web Service. So the first thing I did before, one of the few things I did before uh, creating this video is creating the jar file um, of my project. I created a bucket on Amazon S3 and uh, uh, this bucket is called Homework One Francesca. Inside of it, I put a folder jar in which the jar of my project can be found. Uh, moreover, in the same bucket, I also created an input a folder in which the shards that have to be taken by the map process and input have been uh, uploaded. Uh, then um, in the sh in in the in the bucket we can also say see an output directory which is just the result of a previous running of the application. So the first uh, place we want we have to go in is here on uh, on Amazon EMR, and here we can see the previous clusters. I I. I created for my previous attempts. Now we have to do create cluster. And uh, I will be using EMR600 because my map, the, my, the Hadoop I'm using is uh, 3.2.1. Uh, I will disable everything that I don't need. And uh, then I will go on with the default configuration up to now so the first thing we have to do is create in a cluster and then i will in the next step uh, add a, a task a step for this cluster which is the uh, map produce job so for now we have we are creating a cluster these are default configuration we just have to change here i will put the default one as permission here whereas in uh, EC2 instance profile for Amazon EMR. I will select this voice here so that uh, my application can access the input files it needs and also create the output files. And I will go on with creating the cluster. Okay, the next step is creating the step. So I will go with add step, custom jar, because I have uploaded the jar of my program. I will call it map red, and I will select my jar, which is here. Next step is, so as, First argument, so we have to um, insert the, the starting class, and then we will proceed with the arguments of the program. My program has as arguments the input uh, path and the output path. So as input path, I just do this because it's the folder I made, I made you, I, it is the folder that I had already created on S3 that I made you see. And then as output path, I will give a name. It has, it has to be a, a folder that doesn't exist yet. I will call it output one. So starting function, input path, and output path. And uh, all the paths in order for it to work has to have to refer to S3. Then if it if it's fails, uh, we, I don't know, it, I never changed that. So we'll go on with this. And now we have to wait. It can take a little bit of time. So I will recover the, um, the recording later. So now in order to see the process, we have to refresh here and also the task, if you want to see the state of the task. So I will uh, retake the recording when it completes.
So now we can see that the status of the cluster is running. Um, and also this lady step is running. Now, as we can see, the job was completed. So if we go to our bucket and refresh the bucket, we just see. So after refreshing the page, um, we can see here the output of the job. So these are the output files of the reducer. And that's it. That's how I deployed my application on Amazon Web Service, Elastic Map Reduce. Also, if we click on the output, we download it. And I don't really download it here. No. Try. We open it. We like open it with Notepad, for example. We can see the output is what we expect. I explain this output on my readme in my um, Git.